Hello. I should I should have checked that I've got under eyes. Yes, I have. Um, I'm just looking on the internet, which is probably why it's a little bit dark. If I do that, is that any better? No, I don't bloody know. If I swear a lot during this, just ignore me. I'm trying to find the best dating site, because I'm dating again. Don't talk to me about it. Because I will be very rude. Very, very, very rude. Um, very angry. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about it. I probably will. <laughs> I will try not to. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> not talking about it. Um, <sighs> I'm not very good at not talking about things. I'm so angry, but I'm not going to say a word. Right, trying to find the best dating site. And I'm, I've just been on one, and it said that Elite Singles was the best one, which got paid for, pay for. But I found out that it was actually, the website that I went to was actually run by Elite Singles. So there, of course, it was like 9.8%. And I'm like, well, of course, you're going to think it's the best one because you own the company. So I'm not going to that one. Then it says Zeusk. Now I am actually on a fair few already because last night and the night Tinder. I don't know if I'm on Tinder. Grinder. You see anything called that? Grinder. That just sounds a bit rude. And I'm not up for rude. I can't be fucking asked. Ashley Madison. See that's a um, website if you're uh, married. What? Why are you on one if you're married? <sighs> Best elite singles again. Handpicked. I don't want handpicked, I want to pick myself. Marie Claire. The best sites you should sign up to. Let's have a look at that. Best sites for online dating. No longer embarrassing. I've never been embarrassed about online dating. God forbid, cringeworthy. This is what they say on Marie Claire. No string sex. Hello, Tinder. E-Harmony. Am I on E-Harmony? I don't know. <sighs> E-Harmony take online dating very seriously. $9.99 a month. You see, they do that, and then on the other side, they've got about labia puffing. What the fuck? Why do, I don't want my labia puffed, thanks very much. It's quite puffy enough as it is. You know, why is that? I'm, oh, shit. Look. I'm sorry, I, t I turned you off. Hang on, I'll turn you around. I should have done that a minute ago. Now I'm going to do it again, aren't I? Can you see this? I mean, why? I don't understand all that. Uh, right, so, experts say it's a great site, but who are these experts? Match.com. Most widely used. <coughs> okay, Match.com. Asian dating. There are also various offshoots of Match.com with micro sites for, sites for gay and lesbian Asian, Christian and Polish. The Love Guard at Match also arrange singles events. Well, I can't get to singles events. You know. 12 99 a month for a six-month membership. Everyone's saying about being nervous. Why would you be nervous? I don't understand nervousness. This is just stupid. Why are you going to be nervous? I don't get it. Love struck. Is that one called love struck? Because I've never heard of that. Helps you target potential partners according to location. That is the one. This site hosts regular events. Don't want them. Love struck helps you put in touch with people who are near you. Well, then that is a bloody marvellous idea. Why don't they do that everywhere? Minimum of £16 a month. So, I'm not paying it. <laughs> I 
I'm not paying 16 pound. I haven't got 16 pound a month to pay on a dating website. I wouldn't do it because I'm tight. That's disgusting. See, that was perfect, but not perfect. No gimmicks. Direct datingdirect.com. Never heard of that one. I bet these are all American. Is Marie? Oh no, MarieClaire.co.uk. So that's English. UK English. Twelve ninety nine a month. That one is Parship. Serious, serious online dating. I like serious online dating. I'm not very serious. Who analyses thirty? See, these are the ones I like because they've got personality traits, and I'm very good at those. I love questions. Sign up, do the test, get chatting, have a chat. Fuck me, minimum of £14.90 a month. But it's great for those looking for long-term partners. Well, because you're fucking minted, all of you. Muddy matches. Set up by two friends, Emma and Lucy. Lovely. Now that looks like a nipple and it's not a nipple. It does, and it's actually the lacy bit. So don't get all get excited because it wasn't a nipple. God. Hunters. <laughs> £36 for three months. I mean, please. Where do they think we've got plenty of fish? Might try there again. I did used to be on that. But they just want to shag. And I'm frankly, I'm fed up with that. Mysinglefriend.com. Have you got to have a friend for that? <laughs> I ain't got any then. <laughs> Phil chat. Uh, Like-minded people can chat. See, that's quite good. £13 a month. Beautiful people. Actually, there's loads on this. How much? Six months. Ah, oh, you get a reduced price of £7.50 a month. But <laughs> you only get that probably because nobody's heard of the site. So that's a roll of rubbish. Taste bad. Well, I don't think you should have a dating site called Taste Bad. Because that is rude. Free for existing members. Well, it's not free then. Because if you're a member, you've already paid. <coughs> music. I've struck gold with their music-based online dating site. Pick three artists or bands that you're interested in. In and the gender that you're looking to and press go that's not a very good idea if you ask me just because you like the same music doesn't mean that you're going to like something else doing something <laughs> brilliant that's not a very good name for a dating website doing something so in, instead of having a nervously meeting up for a, a lukewarm coffee you could try out your culinary skills. Oh, shit, I couldn't. I'd kill them. No, better not do that one. I'll, I'll have a coffee. Coffee. Pitch it. iOS. What's iOS? iOS app. iPhone. iOS. I don't know. Although it could be cheap as walk in the park. That's fine. Oh, that's it. What a load of shite. All right, so there there was a few there, and I've given you a few names that you can try. Um, and it's really difficult. I haven't really come to any decision, apart from it's a load of shite. <laughs> and men and women lie through their teeth. And it's not a very nice way to be. Just be upfront, be truthful. Um... And you'll find somebody eventually who's going to go with the truth. So if you're married, tell them you're married. So loads of people do. And they say I'm married. And loads of people don't care about that sort of thing. I frankly do. I don't want to meet up with a married man. But um, loads of people don't care. Um, hmm. It's taffy, isn't it? I do lots of pictures. <laughs> I'm good with pictures. Um, and I like questions because I think the psychology behind it is very interesting. So I'll probably go to that one that told me about doing the different questions. 
There wasn't plenty of fish. Uh, not muddy ones. Muddy matches. I remember that one. Oh yeah, that was the two, two friends, Emma and Lucy. Hmm. Any person who loves the countryside and is not afraid of a little bit of mud. <laughs> Right, Parship, I can't remember that one. Disconcerning Singles uses a patented test. This is, ah, yes, this is the one I'm trying. I'm going to have a go at that and I'll have a look. See what it's like. And I shall let you know. So we're going, so should I just get rid of, no, I'm not going to get rid of all my other dating, um, videos I'll keep them and morning morning love and um, I'll let you know how it carries on going oh, sake. Uh, but just well, just be truthful people drives me mad okay over and out <laughs>